Hello, I'm Dow Bartling, and I certainly hope that you and yours are enjoying a sunnier, warmer day. And again, before I take off and go play racquetball with my friends, I thought I would share with you some of the things I've been thinking of. Because you know, the older I am, the more that I think. I can have a question for you. What jobs and career have you had? Now, one definition a mentor gave me of the difference between a job and a career is about 10 to 12 hours a week. And I had two, two very good examples of careers. One, it was instilled with me through family that whatever work that you do, whether that be work that you get paid or work volunteering, that that is your career and it's going to follow you all the way through your life's path. And as I said, I had two very good examples. One, let's take my, my mother. In the very early stages of her life, she went to college to a little college in Nebraska. And there was a need in the state of Nebraska for teachers. So she did not have her teacher certificate as far as a college degree at that point. But she taught in a little one room school and she taught children of different ages, of course. And her father would come and pick her up and her father then would take her home. And she would study and study and study. Well, you see some of the kids in the class, they weren't very much younger than she was. She very much took it as a career and then she continued wherever tr her family would go. Of course, Sergeant Major Bartling, we moved around a lot. She would look at opportunities to continue her education and whatever job she would be taking, whether it be in a factory, a waitress, whatever, she took it as a career. And then when she became a teacher full time, all the time, I could see that. You see, if you would go in and look at her classroom with the bulletin boards and other things that she had and little gifts maybe every Friday for the children and so forth, you saw that she took that vocation as a career for her and she took care of those students that she was responsible for. And one of her prized items, and I have them today, are these little bitty, you, maybe you can recall getting your class pictures. And then they would give you a sheet with your class picture and you could cut them up and they were small little, little pictures. She's got piles and piles and piles of these students' little thumbnail pictures. They were one of her prized possessions. They were a reflection of her career. Now my <clears throat> adopted father, Sergeant Major Bartling, he then was able to show me that even though, let's say he was working for a company store, and yes, the US government is a big company store, he still took that as his individual branding and his career. Indeed, it was a career. But those that were under him, he took that responsibility and showed me going that nth degree to take care of those. 
whether they be what you would call external customers or internal customers. He made sure that he took care of those particular fellow comrades. And oh, they, they, uh, they worshiped him. So both of them, whether, no matter what job it was, they exhibited to me that it was a career because it was branding them. It was a reflection upon them. And one of the things that my father showed me was that of, you're always gonna have problems. You're always gonna have problems. And a couple of little steps that he had me look at problems uh, more realistically was this, to look at problems realistically. Try to look at it from a panoramic view and get all different views of the problem that you are facing, that challenge and face it that it is a challenge. And don't procrastinate, face reality. The other was, and it took me years to get this one going and I still probably don't have it, ask for help. People love to help other people, especially with problems because they got their own problems and they're kind of getting a little tired of them. They like a new viewpoint. And that viewpoint will be kind of from the outside. They won't have as much invested in it as you. And so they're able to give you a whole different viewpoint. Ask for help. Don't add to the problem. Don't add to the problem. Don't overanalyze it. Because all you need to do is know what time it is. Don't try and analyze on the different uh 17 jewels that make the watch. Don't major in minors. And finally, do something towards that, that problem of solving that problem. Do something, gain momentum. Momentum will get you closer to solving the problem. You know, a train can be going, and you've probably seen those videos where a train will go through maybe a crossing, and man, it'll go through the car, the truck, you name it. That train, there's no stopping it. But you know, that train sitting still, and you could put a little block of wood underneath those engine wheels, and it's not, not gonna go anywhere. But again, you get the momentum, and they'll go through anything. Momentum will help you in a positive way, challenge and solve that problem. So, what jobs and careers have you had? You've got one career that's following you all the time, whether that's in retirement, taking care of your grandchild, or whatever it might be. That career is you. So, I want you to go out there and take on those problems. You know why? I'm rooting for you. Yes, I am. Because we're in this together. And be assured of this. Those with that career. Blessed are those who ease the pain of misfortune. For they shall be called insurance agents. You 